All right, so a year ago, I did a, a video on how to clean, protect, and store your records. If you guys want to check that out, link is in the description or click the card up here. I feel like I should update the uh, cleaning part of that video because I finally got this cleaning kit from Hudson uh, Hi-Fi. No, this isn't a paid sponsor, but hey, if Hudson, if you guys want to sponsor me, let me know and I'll go ahead and review some of you guys' products. So. Just hit me up. My Instagram is in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, Hudson, I bought this on Amazon. If you guys want to buy this cleaning kit, uh, I'll throw the link in the description down below so you guys could go ahead and buy it. I think I think I only pay like 24 26 I think, for this cleaning tool uh, or this cleaning kit. And uh, honestly, this is all you need to clean your records. Like, this is all. It comes with... The record cleaning solution, the record mitt, which I probably won't use, but hey, it's there. This also has the stylus cleaning solution, stylus cleaner, microfiber cloth, anti-static carbon fiber brush, and the velvet record cleaner. And it also has a label protector. So yeah, that's all the stuff that it has inside. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. I haven't yet opened it. I was waiting to uh, do a video on this. Shout out to Skyline. He's the one that um, asked me if I could uh, do a uh, updated uh, record cleaning video. The Batman knife here. Let's go ahead and open this box up. Uh, let's see what it has on the inside. It has a bunch of uh, cleaning tools, obviously. All right, so this is what it has. It has the uh, record cleaning uh solution thing this obviously you spray it on you brush and then you clean the record with it it has a lot i still have uh my other um liquid which haven't uh, wasted it yet and then i believe this is the stylus cleaning thing i think i could be wrong but yeah that's that and then it comes with the brush, the velvet brush. Yeah. And then this is the uh, stylus cleaner, I think. Yeah, anti static uh, cleaner. And then has obviously the uh, anti static brush, which I still, I still have this one from uh, Vinyl Style. Uh, and then some other stuff on the back. It just has the uh, cloth and then the mitts. Comes with two, I think. And then the label protector. And then it comes with uh, some ins instructions, I think. Some instructions on how to clean the record. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do to clean the records. But yeah, that is all. That comes with this cleaning kit. I'm telling you guys, 26, 24 bucks for all this. That's like the price of a of a record. That's the price of a record. So hey, if you guys want to protect your records, your expensive records, buy this kit. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into the turntable and I'll show you guys how to clean your records. Okay, so we're going to be using the Weekend Dawn FM as an example since I recently got this record. Uh, I did play it already, but we're going to go ahead and play it again. Uh, it needs some cleaning, right? Uh, the record isn't too dirty, but it does have some couple of uh, dust. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off. And here's what we do. So on the instructions, it tells us to uh, spray the record. I am not going to do that, but you guys could always uh, spray the record. And it tells me to use the microfiber cloth. I will not be doing that. I will do this traditional method instead, uh, which I'm just going to spray the solution onto the brush and just clean it while it spins. Uh, but again, there's different ways to clean your records. I'm not saying that this way is better than this way or this way is better than this way it just all depends uh, but i've always done it like this um and then obviously uh to clean your stylus you could either do it two ways the dry method 
or the wet method. But yeah, and obviously the mitts, which I guess we'll test out as well. So, all right, sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and use these mitts. Um, comes with a pack of two. So yeah, I seen these on TikTok. I never really understand the hype on these. I would rather just hold it with my hands than to just grab it with this. It feels weird, if you know what I mean. But I guess this works too. I just, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of these. I will not be using this that often. Uh, but hey, if you guys want to, you guys can. I normally just grab it like this off the edges. Obviously, I wash my hands before I grab my records, but uh, hey, it comes with a pack of two, so if you guys always wanted this, the best way to buy this is to, um, to buy the cleaning kit, but you guys can always buy these separately. Here's the label protector. You just slap it on onto this. Obviously, you have to put the record in a flat surface so you can spray it. And then use the micro uh, fiber cloth to clean it. But yeah, just slap it on there and it should protect the label. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we got the cleaning record a solution and the brush. The brush is small. That's one thing I do not like about this kit is the brush is small. It's small. Here's my older brush, vinyl style. This brush is a lot better than the other one just because of how big it is. Um, but hey, it is what it is. This still works. And here's my old record cleaning fluid. This is a lot better than this small fluid, which I still have a lot. Uh, here's the old stylus, uh, the old anti-static brush that I had. Here's a new one. This one looks so much better. But yeah, it's vinyl style. That's in high five. Okay, let's go ahead and spray this. And then just turn on this turntable and we'll go ahead and just clean it off. Just like that. There's a bunch of uh, dust on there, a lot of dirt. Let's clean that off. I wish this came with a smaller brush. Cause I know the vinyl style came with a smaller brush. Just like that, just one more run through it. After that, I tend to grab my uh, anti-static cleaner and just gently put uh, the brush on the record. Just gently move it down. Just like that. And then go ahead and clean it by just moving it back and forth. I do it two times depending on how dirty the record is. I think this record should be clean, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's the way to do it. That's how I clean my records. To clean the stylus, uh, I will, probably will be using this, but you guys could also use um, this uh, method, which is the dry method. If you guys wanna go ahead and do the dry method, you just gently put down the stylus on the, onto, uh, onto this, right? Onto this part, and that should work. But if you guys wanna do it the other way, which is the wet method then this is the way to go just take yeah. the brush out and gently run it through the needle and that's how you clean the needle and uh yeah honestly a pretty good kit for 26 dollars honestly this is all you need for your records and then your record is gonna sound fucking amazing. One cleaning tool that I highly suggest you guys buy is this uh, roller. Just run it through the record um, and it should collect all the dust. And then once it gets all the dust, just run water through it and it should be sticky again. 
so highly recommend this tool i'll throw the link in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and pick this up i think it was only like ten dollars so it's pretty cheap uh, but honestly this is all you need this cleaning kit highly recommend it uh let's go ahead and play this i know it's going to sound amazing uh let's see can we run it through gasoline Let's see.